Howdy y'all, I am Adam the Renaissance Nerd, and Sliders was a cool show back in the day. It came out in 1995, lasted for five seasons, first four seasons were good, season five was shit, because that's when basically the entire original cast, except for the guy who played Remy, left. Starring Jerry O'Connell, John Reese davies the indomitable John Reese davies Jerry O'Connell played Quinn Mallory, who basically created trans-dimensional alternate reality teleporter and te teleporting to other other realities. It was kind of it felt kind of like, a little bit of a quantum leap idea where you're not so much not traveling in time, but you're traveling to other realities and you can't quite get back. Where Sam Beckett couldn't get back to his own time, they couldn't quite get back to their reality, and. First season was just a fun little episodic thing, a new a new world, a new a new quirky thing to deal with. Then season two introduced the Cro Mags as an actual villain, and then then it amped it up a bit. And for four seasons after that, you had Cro Mags, and then you discovered that Quinn Mallory, the world that they thought was his world, really wasn't his world. He had a brother, and he had a destiny fighting the Cro Mags. I mean, it really got out there, but it was really good. It was good hardcore science fiction television and it was fun and it was entertaining and had a great cast and uh then i said like then it went to season then it got canceled on fox and then it went to sci-fi channel for season five and then most of the cast was gone at that point except like that for the guy probably me and it went to crap and it really lost its ability to tell a good story it wasn't good anymore and it ended in a cliffhanger you didn't know what happened and I, you know, you, you put it on the shelf, you don't really care. But I loved it. It's one of those series that inspired me to think about alternate realities as parts of storytelling. And I used that in gaming, and I later used it in, in the fan fiction that I wrote back then. But here we go. Slider's co-creator Tracy Torme says, A reboot is actively in the works. Promises series will never be woke. Wow. Sign me up right now. Now, you have me, you have me, you have me, you have me, you have me. Will not be woke. This is what we've been waiting for. Someone brave enough to say, this will not be woke. This will not be woke. This was a series with strong male leads, good female leads as well. I mean, you brought in Carrie Wurr's character later on. She was a military-esque badass. And Carrie Wurr, Carrie Wurr was a beautiful woman. And she was cool. And she and took took had problem being part of it, but it works. You don't need to have intersectional feminism. You can have strong females working right alongside strong males and not cut the balls off the males at the same time. So let's read into this a little bit. Sliders, a throwback science fiction series from the 90s, just might receive a reboot soon, which the show's devoted followers won't have to jump through a portal into another dimension. <laughs> and honestly, I've made the joke that I feel like I've slipped into an alternate reality these past three years, and I want to go back to my own reality. I mean, I made the joke that I was like uh, Worf in that episode of Star Trek Next Generation. But, you know, maybe the entire world went through a goddamn slider portal. And we went to another world, I felt like it. And I want to go back to my world. In a recent interview with Masters of Genre via Bleeding Fool, series co-creator Tracy Torme confirmed that he is currently working hard to make the relaunch happen. Torme also revealed he has been in talks with members of the original cast to return, though he noted that no deals are getting place for a full reunion, revealing, I can't say the original cast is all coming back because we haven't made those deals yet, but I talked to Clavon Derricks, that played Rembrandt Brown Remy, all the time, and I imagine it wouldn't be a Slyers without Jerry O'Connell, Quinn Mallory, and... John Reese Davies or Professor Arturo. Man, that would be just, that would be freaking awesome. I mean, John Reese Davies, he's getting up there. But I would still love to see uh, him in the beginning just to kind of send it off. So eventually, Torme added, I believe it's going to be a mixture of the old original cast and a couple of new characters. Jerry O'Connell could still get it done. He still, he still, he still looks good. He can still get it done. He continued, We're right in the middle of rebooting it right now as we speak. Further confirming that it was just that w was just considered a rumor with almost no guarantees of substantiation not too long ago. If you talked to me about six months ago, I would have said, oh yeah, that's a rumor because there have been a lot of rumors over the years, but there were never any real, it wasn't really real, wasn't, we weren't actively working on it. But now they are actively working on it. As with any modern reboot, there's fear among fans that any potential new Slider series will be woke and fraught with political agendas. 
So with Torme, so when Torme responded by admitting that the hypersensitivity of our t hypersensitivity, hypersensitivity, I, I like hypersensitivities, they're nice. Hypersensitivity of our time is working against some of his ideas. To answer your question about what it's like this day and age creating a show, the first thing that I noticed is how we're all hypersensitive about politics now. I thought I had a tough time 20 years ago, whenever it was, getting certain stories off the ground in sliders, and it's much worse now. I can tell you that it's going to be even more struggle to get it to, to struggle now than it was then. Already, I've thrown a couple of ideas out, and any and everyone in the room was kind of horrified, going, "Oh, you can't do that." So I can already tell you that people are so hypersensitive to many issues now that it's going to be even more of a challenge trying not to turn into something politically correct. Safe show. If it becomes that, what's the point of doing it? That's going to be the big struggle. And right, I'm going to get my commentary in the end there. When asked, Torme swore up and down, no matter the challenge, no, I promise you, it will never be woke, never. <laughs> bravo, sir, bravo, you have my support. I wait with bated breath to watch the pilot episode and review it. I cannot wait. I am already excited just for the fact that he says it's not going to be woke. And the original show was great and fun, and I look forward to this already. Oh, that's just reviewing it. So my comment is, this is what I think we've been waiting for. Somebody brave enough, a creator, a controller, of a, a, a true creative of a show who controls his IP and says it will not be woke. He is looking out for our entertainment. He wants to return escapism to entertainment, and this is great news. This is classic science fiction show in the middle of the 90s when things were still okay and people could tell a story. He wants to tell a story. And him saying that it's hard to even get an idea out there now just speaks to the struggle of true creatives. True creatives just want to tell their story. They do not want restrictions. This is not how... Telling us that we have to be inclusive and diverse and worry about this and worry about that. That is not how you create things. You create things by just telling your story with great characters. That is how you create. And he and Tracy Torme, he understands that already. He gets it. And I'm excited. Just hearing him say, this will not be woke, never, has me excited and it's hard for me to say that these days. I, normally, I go into one of these things when I see reboot. I say, "Uh oh, okay, let's let's be careful with this. You don't know who's going to get their hands on it." No, the man says right away. One of the original creators says, "It will not be woke." And this is fantastic. This is what it takes. This may be the first of a chain reaction we need to see from people who understand that you cannot do entertainment locked into the inclusivity, virtue signaling, diversity bullcrap. You can't do it. You can't do it. And he gets it. And let's hope he gets his show done sooner rather than later because I need something good to watch. All right. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be appreciated. If you're new here, I encourage you and invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I am fighting for a return to escapist entertainment. Hit that notification button. I make a couple videos every day at least. Share the video around, spread my gospel, comment away. If you are as excited about this as I am, shout it to the heavens with me. I want more sliders. I want, want non-woke sliders. I cannot wait for this. But if you are an SJW and you have found your way here, you can F off. I don't care what you think. I'll never care what you think. You are a coward behind a keyboard. You have no power if we don't pay attention to you. So I don't pay attention to you. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. I still don't do Facebook. I still don't do Twitter. But there are ways to interact with me outside of YouTube. You can email me at therednerd at gmail.com. It's purely for this channel, so there's no chance I will miss any communication from you. You can also find me active at the Geeks and Gamers forums under the handle ROAS. And I am on Parlor now. Follow me at therednerd on Parlor. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.